Okay, postmodernism to me is a way of interpreting art. And it really, since it's postmodernism, in a lot of ways you need to know what modernism is. And so I'll define modernism first to best my ability. Uh, modernism, I think, comes about in the 19th century, probably post uh, invention of photography, when you had this question about, about uh, the effect of photography on painting. There's a guy named Paul Delarouche that uh, said from that point on, painting was dead. Painting was dead based upon you know, what its former functions were, which were portraits, uh, paintings that might illustrate religious themes, uh, also paintings, paintings and or prints or engravings that would uh, speak to historical events. Most of this was taking care of photography at that particular point. So painting had, in a sense, nothing to do, so to speak, except for maybe, you know, that the particularly you know wealthy client that might want a painting rather than a photograph, that kind of, that kind of thing. Well, that actually freed painting up to uh, begin you know, art in general to begin to ask questions, other uh, offer different functions, and so pretty soon you have like the impressionists that come along and they say, well, I'm going to paint what I perceive, and gradually you start getting very very abstract paintings, whereas prior to that time you had what I would call conceptual paintings, that is the, what, what determined the function of the painting or the representation of the painting was a religious theme, a portrait, you know, a historical event, uh, a mythological, uh, say, analogy or analog or, so, or something, something like that. So modernism, now that it's freed from any, any, any uh, painting, uh, art being freed from, from the world, so to speak, began to make its own rules. and. Um, and, the, and so you wound up judging art based upon you know, uniqueness became a, uh, a criteria of success, I would say. And uh, a lot of this was based upon, you know, what critics said, what collectors would say, and uh, aestheticians and, that, and that, 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 that kind of thing. So uh, eventually it became, you know, like Clement Greenberg says, you know, said, you know, that, uh, you know, art should reflect only itself, it should only speak to itself, uh, uh, there's no external world criteria unless it's a specialized political art, you know, I mean, something that's sort of outside of, quote, high art, I might say. Um, so what happens with uh, modernism is, is that the modernist painter, the modernist artist winds up making, uh, making art that speaks only to the art world, in essence. Well, postmodernism, after modernism, doesn't necessarily change that, but it offers a new point of view. And the postmodern attitude, from my, for the way I understand it, in terms of how it works, is that now we begin to see uh, artworks as being in the world, a product of the world, and in fact commenting on the world, not just the world of art. And so now we begin to analyze artworks based upon their source, uh, religious source, uh, sexual preference source, uh, ethnicity source, uh, and, and, we, and we argue, or we, we at least allow, I should say, that the function of art isn't to be universal and to make comments on other artworks, but it, it actually ref reflects its source and its comments are based upon that source. You know, so if you have, let's say, let's say a, 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 a gay artist, the gay artist most likely, uh, my, we, we, we are to, to see it as gay art and see it as commenting on, on uh, the, a group in general or that person's uh, participation in that group. Uh, it's not necessarily a comment on art, you know, and uh, as a consequence it need not necessarily be unique uh, because it, it's a statement like in any other, other statement. Now this all, of course, meshes together quite a bit. I mean, you'd like to make the best comment and also have it the most unique and all that kind of thing, but we're now allowing uh, uh, artworks. Our artworks can actually be, um, in a postmodern sense, uh, its originality is, is not necessarily a player anymore, you know. I mean, uh, it's uh, the, the, the expressions that a lot of critics have used is that in, in modernism, it's novelty that novelty's the academic way. You know, the artist goes, got to make it new, got to make it different. And that's what they think about. 
Whereas the postmodern attitude is not make it new and different, but make it succinct, uh, make it make a statement. And of course, you know, you'd like to have the artwork be well crafted and possibly unique, but it's kind of the, the difference is probably a starting point. I don't know if that's it.